afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal, here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing a review of the European markets for end of days trading the 5th of September 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's look at these stats here. And the after hours, certainly uh, a lot of action during the day, certainly limited action until the US market certainly came online. And then we certainly had the uh, massive move lower. Okay, so let's look at the stats here first of all. European markets, German DAX finishes positive. French CAC more or less uh, finishing negative, minus 17 points, nothing major. And the FTSE is certainly losing in the last, uh, say, half an hour, an hour. That's when the decline certainly uh, accelerated. Although it was as high as uh, 1.7440 uh, throughout the day. It certainly did shake off the, the weakness from the... Uh, the Asian session. Oh, should we say oh, not much of a or not much weakness of the Asian session? Uh, really, it was uh, more or less flat, given the fact that the Shanghai still finished higher, given the fact that we had stronger Chinese data. But that certainly is the uh, the, the status quo, and that's the narrative at present. Okay, so in terms of economic data, let's just quickly go over the data today. Uh, certainly, starting off with Chinese data out overnight. Certainly coming in stronger than expected. BRC like for like retail sales certainly coming in stronger than expected for the FTSE. Uh, the Nikkei actually manufacturing PMI came coming in weaker than expected. Uh, we had the RBA however overnight, but again that's a different story, so I'm not going to dwell upon that. In terms of the um, uh, Irish uh, uh, purchasing PMI came in stronger. The GDP numbers from uh, from uh, CHF uh, Switzerland certainly came in. Uh, on the weaker side, okay. Uh, PPI, CPI, I, I certainly overlooked that. French, or should we say Spanish, uh, PMI services came in weaker than expected. French uh, PMI services weaker than expected. German PMI uh, data certainly coming in stronger than expected, okay. And UK PMI services coming in weaker than expected. European retail sales certainly weaker than expected as well, okay. So basically, European markets were more or less stagnant. Okay, with the German DAX finishing higher as well on the back of obviously uh, talk and uh, expectations that Mr. But the Draghi put certainly is in the background as well. So again, focus was on that too. Okay, now North Korean concerns are certainly generally being ignored. Now, if I bring up the actual charts themselves, uh, let's just bring up the German DAX as you can see here from the uh, outset. We certainly ignored the concerns over North Korea. We certainly pushed higher. We closed the gap above. And then we thrust it to new highs, okay? So again, towards the end, we did actually flush and close the gap eventually. But in reality, we still finished positive on the DAX, okay? Uh, and that's pretty impressive, given the fact that you have North Korea in the background. So again, certainly something to ponder over, okay? Certainly something to ponder over. Now, the uh, NASDAQ certainly has flushed after hours. So again, that certainly is affecting the German DAX. The German DAX now, I think it's trading around the 12,050 zone. It's actually trading around here with potential threat of obviously closing that, that gap at 12,000 as well, okay? So, German DAX, uh, German uh, economy certainly uh, doing well, especially with its PMI services, uh, numbers certainly coming in stronger than expected. So, German market certainly did well, okay? And also, given the fact that the euro was majority of the time spent its time below the 1.19 level, again, that certainly helped as well to a large extent, okay? Uh, in terms of the current picture now going into tomorrow, given the fact that the German DAX is now on the 12.050 level, 12.050 does have support, so certainly expect that support level to hold, okay? Uh, you are looking at 12.050, so this is your support level. Now, bear in mind, you do have an unfilled gap at 12,000, and then obviously you've got unfilled gap at 11.950, so those two may well come into play as well, so bear that in mind, okay? Certainly a possibility, uh, nevertheless, okay? So that's your status quo. Now, looking at the daily chart on the German DAX here, Okay, you certainly did put in a topping tail. Okay, so you certainly are in this potential expanding type channel, and we'll see how long this can last. Now, we've certainly put in a double bottom here at 11.930. Until we take out 11.930, my bias remains bullish. Okay, in terms of the uh, rest of the markets, let's look at the French CAC here. French CAC again pushed higher initially before it reversed and uh, certainly sold off on the back of the weaker durable goods and factory orders. Okay. And also given the fact that the market really started to tank when Mr. Sessions certainly announced the end of DACA, okay? End of DACA certainly kills any political capital that Mr. or any uh, political um, support that Mr. Trump could have gained for his tax reform package, okay? And, and therefore obviously it triggered a massive risk aversion with the NASDAQ certainly reversing down almost 100 points, the S&P off almost a percentage point. So 
again that's the uh, that's this narrative after hours and it was the uh, the US markets that certainly triggered it off with the weaker factory data and durable goods now we have had Mr Brainard and now Mr Kashkari yes Mr Kashkari both of them are sounding very dovish uh, so that certainly could give the market some reprieve so just bear that in mind okay certainly looking for some reprieve now for the markets on the back of Mr Kashkari and Mr Brainard okay right so uh, the French CAC at the moment certainly has support in this region at 5080 you have an unfilled gap below at 5056 currently the uh, uh, CAC at the moment after hours is in that 5056 region so you are looking for a potential move higher and therefore certainly expect one okay so again you're looking at support of 5056 we did hit a pivot high of 5110 as you can see we've certainly moved down 60 pips on the back of that uh, uh mr well basically uh, fed uh, i'd say daca move and also the concern regarding the uh, weaker data as well from factory orders and uh, durable goods okay uh, also north korea in the background as well but the market certainly seems to be ignoring that to uh, uh, by the looks of things okay all right okay so uh, in terms of the rest of the markets let's keep moving okay let's move on to the next uh, let's look at the euro stocks now okay euro stocks certainly flushing into the close after hours we are now around that three four hundred level so you are looking for support on the euro stocks okay in terms of the FTSE 100 FTSE 100 certainly a confusing one okay initially you had strength uh, to start the day okay we hit a pivot higher 7435 and then we just literally move lower okay and whether or not you can i mean yeah, commodities certainly stronger okay copper was strong oil was strong okay gold strong so mine is certainly helping it was certainly the banking sector that was the main culprit for the FTSE uh, lead lower okay also as uh, gbp usd certainly rose as well on the back of a weaker a dollar okay and that certainly did depress the FTSE to a large extent if i bring up the gbp usd you can see we had quite a substantial thrust okay although euro itself certainly has remained subdued okay now the FTSE 100 certainly flushing uh lower down to the pivot low around the 7372 is where it closed looking at the daily chart you are looking at support around the 7335 zone so look for 7335 as support you are looking at uh, resistance at 7440 so you're oscillating between there if you break that key support of 7340 then you're going back down to 7300 and we all know 7300 is a solid base that's been built okay hence the reason why my bullish bias remains okay looking at the 60 minute chart on the uh, the actual uh, FTSE 100 at the moment uh, you certainly have uh, support at 7375 okay so watch out for support at 7375 uh, you have uh, support at 7355 and then you have support at 7330 now after hours we are trading around the 7330 zone okay so keep an eye on there after hours just bear with me one second okay so yes after hours okay so after i was certainly trading around 7330 just looking at the market i actually took a trade out of 7334 if i can if i can recollect yeah 7334 is where i've taken a trade on the uh, the FTSE 100 itself okay so uh, that's basically where we trade uh now at the moment the FTSE 100 certainly flushed um whether it was a repeal bill uh, i'm just trying to recollect now number one you can obviously argue gbp higher therefore FTSE 100 under pressure but not to that extent especially given the fact that stronger Chinese data are out overnight as well BRC retail sales stronger as well factories output orders certainly uh, forecast in a Reuters article stating uh, bullish so again uh, couldn't really explain the, uh, the, 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 the the immense weakness in the FTSE to a large extent okay uh, but nevertheless that was a status quo okay so we have to respect that uh, you are looking at support if we open up around 7355 whether it's 7330 or even if we actually do move higher at 7370 so keep an eye on that in terms of the FTSE itself uh, and again 10 minute chart uh, you have a gap fill uh, a gap fill is at 7335 so again that certainly is coming into support as well you have support gap fill at 7365 if that were to fail then you have support at uh, 7350 at 7348 okay so again not expecting 7335 to close so we'll see see how the markets respond okay either way that's the status quo if you do push high then you are looking at the resistance at 7400 on the FTSE 100 itself okay so i think that's a market wrap just quickly look at the euro usd before we close 
uh, certainly putting in a topping tail, even with the fact that we have a weaker dollar, the euro USD has failed to rise. Now, that certainly is a bullish sign for European equities and something certainly to take into account going into uh, tomorrow's trading. So my buy certainly is bullish on European equities in the back of a weaker euro and obviously going into Draghi as well. That will be interesting. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.